So you're deciding what to grow next. Whatever you choose is going to be an investment of your time and you want to plant something that's going to thrive. The problem is that there are a lot of choices and it can be difficult to know what plants are good choices. In this video, I'm going to tell you about what I would highly recommend that you grow in your yard. It's very easy to get online and even easier to grow. Sugarcane. That's right, sugarcane. It's one of the easiest plants to grow both in the ground or in a pot and I'm going to show you exactly how. Okay, let's learn a little bit about sugarcane. This is a broad area. Sugarcane is actually a type of grass uh, in the same family as other flowering plants like wheat, rice, sorghum. It's primarily used agriculturally to produce the table sugar that we all enjoy. In fact, 70% of the world's sugar comes from Saccharum officinarum. That's the fancy name for hybrids of this species. It has, of course, been used all over subtropical and tropical regions where it's primarily grown. It's used for even more than food, including mats and other applications. The history of sugarcane is quite long and sorted as a key agricultural commodity. It has been cultivated widely and there are actually many varieties of sugarcane which grow quite well in your backyard. They are generally clumping. They come in a wide range of colors. Some of the varieties you'll see that Ben Thacker shows us in the next segment of this video are green, others are red, purple, uh, I've seen yellow sugarcane. So there are also sugar canes that resemble very much types of bamboo, ornate bamboo. And the sugar cane really has that bamboo-like look if you peel the dead leaves off as it grows. These plants typically get to something like 6 to 20 feet tall, depending on the variety. Typically, the types of sugar cane grown in backyards in, and in pots is referred to as chewing cane. And You'll see several examples of that type of sugarcane in this video. It is very easy to acquire sugarcane online, mostly due to the fact that it ships very easily due to the uh, general nature of the plant, but also the fact that it tends to not desiccate rapidly. So it retains water as a good cutting and very, very easy to grow from cuttings. And you'll see some advice on that later in this video. Hey, if you're not already subscribed to Eat Your Backyard, please do click on the link above and subscribe now. Also give me a thumbs up if you don't mind if you like this kind of thing. All right, let's get back into it. So sugarcane pests are a thing, but typically you want to counter them in the backyard I've found. There are certain types of beetles and plant hopper insects that can cause a problem, but I have to be honest, I have not seen much of a problem with it now. This is a very tough and resilient plant. You can see that it grows in a clumping pattern. As you chop down stalks, more stalks grow. It takes about a year for a cane to mature, and once it does, you'll have plenty of options of what to do with it. One option is to juice the canes. You'll need a cane press to do that. Another option is to eat them, and you'll see some examples of us eating them in Ben's forest here shortly. Of course, you could also take the crystals, but I found most of the time you'll probably just be using it as chewing cane. There's such a wide variety of types of sugarcane that you just have a palette of flavors. And although some sugarcane is somewhat bland tasting, others have a cinnamon taste and almost a flowery fragrance to them. You can see in this case, we have two pineapple plants growing at the base of a beautiful red sugarcane plant, which is not yet ready to harvest. This novel and delicious plant would make a great addition to any backyard garden or even as a potted plant. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Ben's sugarcane and his beautiful food forest. This is one of our sugarcane patches here, one, one of the first ones, and 
I think there are two different types here. I know I have a purple one in the front, but these are, they look a little different. These are a little more green yellow and these are a little more yellow red. I think those are probably the good ones to pick to start with. Okay, so you have the red and the green or the yellow, you think? I think that's yellow. I don't know the official names. They look more, this looks more yellow than green probably. Um, yeah. I've gotten from different sources, just mostly friends who have them growing. Some of them are fatter, some of them are skinnier. Like these are thinner ones. And that's why I think it's a different variety. Um, and I know, I'm not an expert on it, but I know there's different types are considered um, chewing canes and some are considered juicing canes, I think. Yeah, the I kind I have is the chewing. Yeah, so I'm not, which one's which. And, you know, I imagine the chewing one's the one, the one that's a little softer, or, you know, more uh, juicy and well, the, yeah, the chewing have this fiber down the middle. So yeah. after you bite it, it leaves like a, almost like celery. It's like that kind of like super fibrous down the middle, but it does, you can't eat it. Yeah, it's well, left. I don't think you can eat any of it. It's, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. But it's the other stuff up. doesn't have that fiber down the middle is what I've told. I mean, it's all woody. So every type of sugar cane I've ever tried, you have to spit out the woody part. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I mean, it's very fibrous. I didn't know so that. So either, you know, you can just chew it and then spit it out or, or put it through a press and you get the juice. I wonder what kind they use for commercial stuff like down the Everglades. I do actually think it's this kind because um, my last project down in West Palm, I was doing um, neighborhood farms and, and I went down to the county fair to just kind of like see what was going on in the agriculture. When mm -hmm. I first started it, I was kind of getting plugged Yeah, like stuff. seed cane they'd sell there maybe. Well, yeah. So I talked to a sugarcane farmer and he allowed me to go and pick some cane from one of his fields and stuff. And wow. Sugar cane is pretty controversial in Florida um, yeah. commercially because of its sort of negative effect on the environment. It's well, if you look no south of Lake Okeechobee, man, it is like nothing but sugar cane it's as far as you can see in all directions. Drive on the turnpike and, or anywhere out there, Bell Glade is where this cane came from. And, you know, I'm totally in agreement. Sugarcane needs to be sort of rethought in Florida. Yeah. And I think it can be done sustainably. It's probably already is on a small right. scale, but um, you know, like we were talking about earlier, instead of burning the chaff or the dry leaves, you just drop them down and, um, and it's a mulch. But the reason they do it the way they do is because it's so much easier to automate. If they have, it's all done by tractors and stuff. Right. And, uh, and then they process it on site. But I did learn that um, the leftover part after they press it, I forgot the term, I should have looked it up. Um, but they're using it before they used to burn it for um, for like cheap a fuel source basically at the mm. plant. They would just burn it and make some kind of some kind of energy. Uh, but now they're, there's a process where they make these um, biodegradable like to go plates and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like wow. the little bowls or plates or cutlery or whatever, they yeah. press it into a mold and so it's kind of a cool use. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, but I think, you know, Beyond that, we but need this to out how this to greenish it variety you have here was acquired down that way, this that neck of the woods. One, I'm pretty sure, and so that's okay. You know, that's why I recognize it. Yeah, I went out to the field and I can't remember what month it was. It have you run this time? Of year. I maybe we'll cut one of these. Yeah. That one. I normally just cut off the top right where it is, so I don't have to worry about it later. Nice. Take off those um, the leaf parts. It gets this white fly weird stuff in there so I just yeah is that them. wax or is that fly i think it's some kind of insect you know i'm not really an expert but it looks like that i've seen it before i just washed it off it didn't seem to really have a bad effect or anything yeah this is much more narrow than the green cane i have yeah you yeah know, this well, the one behind you we can get a shot of that in a second is um way fatter yeah this is beautiful and then we're gonna i'm gonna try to cut it down here so you can see it's a lot thicker than the other one I like to get in and prune off like the lower dead leaves and stuff. That way you can see the cane a little bit better. It's like the attractive part. Yeah, I wonder how long it takes for these leaves to break down here. Well, you know, the thicker they're layered, I feel like the faster it starts breaking down underneath. But oh, it's, no, a great, oh, yeah. it's a great mulch. Um, here, I'm gonna cut this guy here. I don't know if you can see. Um, sometimes I use a machete, but when it's really tight like this, it's hard to get a clean angle. So I'm just gonna show you like this. You can use a little saw or you can use whatever works. Use that. That's a beauty. This one. So you can see they're different. They both yeah. have that white stuff. I'm thinking this is because different. there isn't enough like airflow or something. Or sunlight. I'm not really yeah. sure. It's a little dank in this corner. 
But those are two. Uh, we can go to the front and see the red ones. I don't know if they're beautiful, fully mature yet, but we can take a look at the kids' favorite, man. All the kids, they go straight up to these trees. There's another one. There's probably some on there. Yeah, that's a beautiful Montingia. My daughter, my daughter picked uh, oh, yeah. a bunch yesterday, so you may have to look closely and get some. Kind of, when they're brown, you can usually just pull these things off. Otherwise, if you get a pruner, you should be a little careful though, because they're kind of they have a serrated edge. A serrated edge. So they have the, the spines cool. around the, yeah, the little. If you go with the towards the end, it's smooth. But if you go towards the base, it's like sawgrass. Yeah. Don't want to go running through the sugarcane patch. No. Yeah. Not at all. And even working, and you get itchy and stuff. But it's probably good to do long sleeve and gloves. Yeah, this looks really beautiful. Good. Really yeah. nice. I'm gonna let that just keep growing. Let it get strong. I don't think any of them have been in for quite long enough. I think it's like 10 months. What do you do you for... You may want to research that to verify, but I think it's about 10 months. About 10 months to let it grow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you do for fertilizer? Nothing yet. Basically just uh, a lot of mulch breaking down. Just, like, just the mulch, natural, organic. That's all we got. <laughs> that's um, beautiful. Yeah, I need to get back into doing the foliar teas. That's actually on my list for this week. Is to start the batch. Just get around the um, so there's another. I think that's the same one up there. We got them in the ditch. Yeah, grown out front, huh? Yeah. So I feel like this is going to be a good spot for sugarcane in general. It gets. It likes a lot of water. Yeah. So this is our little experiment. Never. This never gets you know irrigated up here at all. Sugar cane peeler. Yeah, clean off that white stuff a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll hurt you, but it's just kind of funky looking. And then this thing is made for peeling the sugar cane. Kids love sugar cane too, and so. It helps to be able to do it quickly when you get like a swarm of kids around you. Yeah. In West Palm at that uh, uh, neighborhood farms project, I had, grew a lot of that sugar cane that I had gotten from the commercial guy, and uh, all the kids were wanting it constantly. Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, anyway. A little dirt don't hurt. <laughs> I'm just chewing that. <laughs> You gotta kind of like start chewing it before the juice comes out, but it's pretty good, right? It's very good. Yeah. Nice and sweet. And much different than the sugar cane I have. Really? Much Flavor different. Flavor-wise? Flavor-wise and consistency-wise. You could never bite through the fibers in the stuff I have. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, I don't know if I could bite it's through fascinating. It. Crush it. Yeah. Well, you know, crush it even. It's really? like rope. I would split it on yeah. the bigger ones. I'll split it into like fours. Hmm. Like this one? That sugar cane peeler is a must have. Oh yeah. Holy moly. I'm all about the, the, the tools, like the simple tools, you know? Yeah. Um, for coconut to have Tons like all these different tools. Yeah, I'm getting one of those. Holy moly. I mean, even that, I'd probably split that, especially for the kids. Okay. This one tastes different than the other one, I think. Is it the same variety? Mm -hmm. I think no different variety. Yeah. I think the first one was sweeter. And this one has a much stronger fiber in it, too, mm -hmm. it seems like. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. I think the first one was juicier, too, though, huh? It was. 
even though they're skinnier. Yeah, I think they're definitely different. But I got a red kind year. Well, it was purplish kind mm -hmm. that there I one, ordered. One up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I got it from somebody in Louisiana. Huh. Small cane, but anyway, I grew that for a little while, mm -hmm. and uh, that had a real cinnamon flavor to it. Oh wow! Mm. Yeah, that's cool. There's so many kinds of sugar cane. Yeah, really. I yeah. saw a picture once, and it was like 30 kinds of different sugar cane, all really? striped. It wow. was like very bamboo-like. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, one of them almost looked like that Hawaiian striped bamboo. Oh. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's a grass. Could have been a fake picture, <laughs> but I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's super cool. Good to get a lesson from somebody who actually knows how to deal with the sugar cane. Huh. <laughs> I know how to chew on it. That's about it. What advice would you give on planting them? Yep. We eat a lot of them, but I usually try to save at least, a, you know, at least a handful of pieces to plant. You know, I would usually take something like this. And you see that little node thing right there? Mm -hmm. Those buds? Right. That's how you grow new ones. And so when you put that, I put it under the mulch. Under, like some decomposing mulch or nice rich soil, bury it lightly or you know a couple inches deep, mm -hmm. and it'll start growing up new. Yeah, but you would plant with three nodes. Yeah, something like that. I've heard of people using the whole thing. I've mm. heard of people planting it, and I think that's how he told me to do it commercially. They'll lay them like the pieces down parallel like that. A whole piece. All the way down the line. Yeah, but long pieces like I many think that's nodes. That's what he said. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, and then it's like it get you know gets new shoots up all the way yeah and it makes sure that everything's all in the line and stuff I guess for the tractors and stuff it makes it easier um, I have a couple of little ones in pots that you can see somewhere And that's probably the same yellow or whatever that we were in. Nice. I don't know if that's the same or not. That might be a different one. That might be the red one. Yeah, and you just grew them by just sticking them in there, leaving part yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like about half of them actually grew. Yeah, like, I find that once they get established, they just keep growing. The way I figured that out was uh, the guy who sent me that purple sugar cane had done that. The waxing waxing and that way you could store it as seed cane for much longer mm -hmm. over the winter like let's say if mm -hmm. you're up in georgia or whatever that makes sense yeah i normally just plant it whenever I, when it's fresh it seems to grow better yeah if you want to learn more about sugar cane or see some of the other videos on the channel just go ahead and click on these links also don't forget to subscribe to eat your backyard Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.